Howdy, it's Empire State Warrior, and today I'm going to be doing a video over the Titan H&N. I know this is really late, and I know the event ended like a little over two weeks ago, but I'm doing it anyway because all of you, I'm doing it. Get over it. Anywho, uh, oh, I went to the game where I carried in it. Mm, who cares? I'll just do it over this one then. Uh, Creek, I decided to ignore yours after I got this game because I was like, what the fuck? Y'all can not, not be able to carry. Uh, let's just say I start to go 3v1, so I do get a color bonus here. But I'm going to say a little bit about the tank. And I'm going to tell you the thing about it. I think it's fun. I think it's different. But it, it, it's worth it in a sense because it's not broken. I didn't. I, ex I fully expected it to be broken. I was like, okay, it's going to be freaking broken. There's no point in buying it. I don't want it. It's going to be another Annihilator. I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it just to test it. Because I was like, oh, it's not that good. I'm like, okay, I'll test it. Screw it. I got it, and I really enjoyed it. It's a fun tank. But it seems pretty basic. It's your run-of-the-mill tier 7 with armor. That's all it is. You have armor and a gun. And I mean, even the armor isn't that good. Unless you're side scraping and then you just bounce everything. As you're seeing, this tank bounces anything when it's side scraping. I noticed those two over there to the left, to the right, sorry. But I'm going to keep focusing these guys simply because I'm blocking damage, I'm dishing out damage. And again, another big shell blocked, another 460 alpha shell. That's something that you want to happen in a tank like this, because this tank isn't supposed to have armor. It wasn't supposed to have armor, or good armor anyway. But as you see, I'm dealing damage to tier 8s, and I'm dealing it pretty consistently. The tank's accurate, it's got a good gun, but as I said earlier, I did sell it because it just wasn't my forte. I'm used to high DPM, as y'all all know. I'm, I love high DPM tanks, and that are decently fast, and that have a turret. This thing's turret is terrible until it gets to the halfway point, and then it's decent. And I'll explain why later. Actually, no, screw it. I'm explaining it now. You see these little cheeks here? Oh, come on. Until that little piece of armor moves up, it's extremely weak. So, that's the major weak point of this tank. Major. That makes this tank literally half as good as it truly should be. And in my opinion, that sucks. I was not wanting to push there, but then I realized, okay, he's got the smaller gun. I'm going to push. And he doesn't have spawn liner. I don't know if he gets the reload. I, yeah, he doesn't. But as you see, my team didn't live very long. Unfortunate miss. But now you see, the armor's moved up. The other bottom plate has moved down to where now I can bounce some shells on the frontal hole. Uh, I get lucky. Like, really lucky. Uh, actually, I didn't go 3v1. I killed him right before the 3v1 happened, so I didn't get 3v1, unfortunately. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to switch to premium. Because simply enough, the premium is good enough to go right through the frontal hole. I'm going to switch to AP. Turn right around. And as you see, the armor is decent. You have decent armor. And the tank's capable of carrying 4.5k damage. That's pretty much it about this tank. It's a decent tank. It really is. I liked the tank. But I sold it so I could get some tier 8s. And I got two tier 8s out of the mystery crates. The E75 TS. And... I... I think the 59 Patton, which I never liked in the first place, so I just got rid of it. I, I never liked that tank in the first place, so I just got rid of it. But the tank overall is a decent tank. You do have a decent tank here. Is it broken? No. Is it good? Yes. 
uh, if I had to put it on a level, um, I think Droodle's, like, little tier 7 tier list that he did is the best way to describe this tank. It's in between super good and good. Like, it's right there in the center, because at first it's good without the armor plate that's moved up, and then once the armor plate is moved up when you're below half, it's very good. It's a super good, super strong, extremely good tank. But it's slow, it's cumbersome, the reload is decent at best at 8.8 .8 with 180 mils pen and 310 alpha, and it's decently accurate. Like, the gun is actually... The best way I can put this is the tier 7 M6A2E1. Literally has the same gun in terms of penetration and alpha, but this has a 1.1 second better reload. So you're literally getting an M6A2E1 with less speed, less armor at first, and then it switches to pretty much the same, and better DPM. That's all there is to this tank. Really, that's it. That's all there is. Uh, I will be doing another quick video soon before the update drops over the 53 TP. And I think I will do a quick one again. So I'll be dropping four videos within the span of like 30 minutes. So be ready for that. But anywho, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a short one, but I had to get it out quickly before the update dropped. So I could get some videos out and you guys get some content to actually watch instead of being being, being a procrastinating shit face. Because that's what I've been lately. I've been procrastinating on just about everything. And I'm going to start hooking up. So hopefully I start getting out content more often and you'll be hearing from me more often. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys later.